So what's new at the drugstore? We are going to be going over several products that I have found very recently in the drugstore. I think that all of these are fairly new releases except for maybe one or two that I personally have just discovered. So they're new to me products, maybe not new on the market, but I love them and I'm really impressed with them. So I'm excited to bring them to you. Hello, my friends. I'm so glad that you're with me today. And if you're new to my channel, I want to say welcome to you and I hope that you do decide to subscribe if you enjoy the content all of my regular subscribers i always say a special thank you to them because you are the heart and soul of my channel and you keep me going and i appreciate it more than you know before we do get into the products i always like to show what i have on for a top because i get asked in every single video so i'll show you a little picture of that right here really fun top very true to size flutter sleeves eyelet material and it has the little grommets right here that are in silver that are so cute little v different kind of a neck i always list my jewelry my fingernails all of the makeup that i do have on all of that is listed and linked below for you if you'd like to shop that way all right enough chit chat let's get into the products that i'm absolutely loving and so much fun for new at the drugstore don't know if you know this or not but ulta has revamped their actual makeup line of ulta collection and they came out with quite a few new things i didn't realize that there was so much coming out so i just got a couple and what i want to share with you i am super impressed with today on my foundation i have on their new complexion crushed crush makeup and i am enjoying this so much two reasons it went on like a dream it was absolutely beautiful it's medium coverage foundation and it doesn't say much other than it is a cruelty front foundation it doesn't make a bunch of claims on there but it is so even on my face i was shocked i have been recently having this issue because i do have dry mature skin with a little bit of texture you know your pores get a little bit you know bigger and you also get a little bit of you know sagging where the skin looks a little bit crepey i've been having this issue of my makeup looking modeled at times this didn't at all i used a teeny tiny drop and then i just went over my face and i'm going to show you a picture of how this wears later in the day and i am shocked at how well it does wear throughout the day it is a beautiful foundation hopefully you'll be able to see it up close and i am really impressed with how pretty this foundation is not only that it said light cool and i'm always skeptical when they say cool because it seems like they put like peach in it or something and it turns orange on my face this is a truly cool toned foundation and i was so pleased with how it matched my skin tone. Just absolutely enamored with this. The other one that I was really surprised at is their new concealer as well. So this is Ulta Collection Inner Glow Serum Concealer. Now, sometimes when I see the word serum concealer, I really get a little bit skittish about it because it doesn't cover at all. This one was beautiful and you can tell how well it covered on my eyes today, but I am loving this. Now, all of you know how much I adore the Tower 28 Serum Concealer. This is very much like that. It covers really well, maybe not quite as thick as the Tower 28, a little bit thinner, but the coverage on it was incredibly beautiful. I did have to set it down a little bit with powder, but that coverage was just so pretty. And you know what? I just showed you the serum concealer. Why didn't I show you the foundation as well? Let me show you the texture of that one too. Um, especially since I'm not doing a try on for you because I don't feel that great today. Both of them have this silky texture to them. I'm so impressed with those. And so here is the, the foundation and here's the concealer on those. I really have been enjoying both of them. And I think that if you're anybody that needs that medium coverage, even up underneath your eyes for a concealer, you're really going to enjoy this long wearing. I'm just so surprised about how long these wear and the color on them, both of them was just so good. So I'm really impressed so far with the things that I've tried from their line. I also tried the Ulta Beauty finishing powder. And when I got this, I thought, well, finishing powders are usually a lot lighter than actual setting powders. They're a bit drier, but this one I found that I can set with and I can 
do finishing if I want to. Beautiful, beautiful powder, very finely milled. Let me just grab a little brush. This one is the BK Beauty. I think that says 110. I usually set my under eyes with a powder puff, but I'll just go ahead and I'll show you how pretty that is as a finishing powder. It just really complements my skin tone. This one is light neutral, complemented my skin tone very well. Just really love, love, love this powder for a new powder and have been a little bit shiny on camera lately, so I'm trying to help that out too. But this made my pores disappear. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel heavy. And I think it's because it is a finishing powder and not necessarily a setting powder. So to report, I have been enjoying all of the Ulta, new Ulta Beauty things. I'm going to be getting some more so that I can share those with you and let you know how they stack up. But so far, so good. They did a really good job. And I have never found an Ulta foundation or a concealer that I was really impressed with, but these I'm really, really liking. This one from e.l.f. is the Stay Cool Primer Stick. And it is just a very lightweight primer that feels cooling as it goes on. It almost feels like water. It sinks into your skin. It's going to give you that little bit of hydration. I'll tell you what I actually use this for is to go under my eyes to give it just that little zap, zap of cooling and the hydration underneath my eyes right before I go in with concealer because that does seem to help a lot with plumping up the fine lines and wrinkles underneath there and not getting so crepey. And then I'll just tap it out and wait for it to dry down a little bit and then go in with my concealer. Very hydrating. Now I would say that don't substitute this for your actual hydration. You don't want to do that. But if you're somebody that you go and you put your SPF on and then you're ready to get your makeup on and your skin feels dry, these, this might be your best friend. It can give you a little swipe of hydration wherever you need it. And I do feel like it is very, very smoothing. Right after you put it on, I, it just feels very silky and very hydrated. So I'm loving this. I think it's a great new product from e.l.f. And I don't know if it's necessarily like pore, pore refining or mattifying. It's not either of those. Um, because I do always use something to fill in my pores a little bit, either the e.l.f. Silky Canvas one or the Tatcha one, something to actually go into those pores to make them look diminished. But this one is very good for hydration and smoothing. I really have been enjoying it for both of those. Oh, by the way, I did also find this gem. This is a new brush from the Ulta Beauty Collection. And if you have been with me any length of time, you know that my favorite brush of all time is the Hourglass Dual Sided Brush. It's one of the most beautiful brushes that I've ever found. I reach for that baby every single day, but this one would be a great alternative if you can't afford the 60 plus dollars that that actual brush is. This one is super soft. I think it might even be a little bit softer than the Hourglass one. I used it for my highlighter underneath my blush, and then I did use it for my blush on top today. And it just worked out so, so well. So definitely if you want a brush like that hourglass one you've been seeing mine but you're like that is way too expensive you might take a look at this i really have been enjoying using that one it cosmetics for the ulta brushes or however they say that it's like it brushes for ulta or something anyway they have this brush right here in a bigger one and i don't know if i have it here i don't think i do but they have it in a bigger one that's super fluffy and super big and I have loved having that for a really super light dusting of powder. So if you're somebody that's really dry and you're like, I can't do powder, this one might be perfect for you. It has the duo fibers and dents down here where the black is, but up here on the white part, it's not white because I used it on my face today, but up here on the white part, they are super airy bristles. And so as you're dusting it, you get so very little on and it picks up as it goes. So what I mean by that is if you have too much in certain places, you're going to be able to just brush it across and it's just going to give you this very ethereal look across your face because it's so light and so feathery and beautiful brush. And then the other one that Real Techniques came out with, and these might not be new, but they were on the Ulta website as new, so I nabbed them. This is a angled fan brush, which I think is just a beautiful brush for doing any bronzing or any contour. And if you're doing contour and you don't want it to get too out of control, just 
take and pinch that brush a little bit so you're getting a little bit more precise. But as far as blending, this is gorgeous because it's really light, airy, and it's fluffy not like a regular tiny little fan brush would be where you would want to be doing something precise. It's just really fluffy. For blush, this would be beautiful too. I did wear a blush from Moira today. Let me just add a little bit extra so you can see what this would look like. Now this is a cream blush from Moira. I'll make sure I list it, but I do tap it into my hand so I don't get too much at once on. But this would be so pretty as a blush brush as well. Depositing just a little bit instead of a ton like some others might, but you could use this for all of your needs on your face. I really love how fluffy and soft all of Real Techniques brushes are anyway, and this one completely gets my stamp of approval. The other thing that I found, and this probably isn't new, but I was perusing Amazon as I always do, and I was looking for the P. Louise eyeshadow primer and I think you can only buy that actually on the P. Louise website or on the Morphe website Not sure but this one from it's Becky Sue is the name of it and this is the eyeshadow primer This is the light one I believe and then they have a white one and I was like trying to figure out which one I would like Well, I'm glad I got the light one because this is a way better color than going with a stark white on your eyelids for me, eyeshadow primer is supposed to do two things. Not only hold on my eyeshadow, but also it needs to take care of the discoloration that I have on my eyes so that my eyeshadow brightens up. This one fits the bill perfectly. Also, if you have some problems holding on your concealer, tap on a teeny tiny amount of eyeshadow primer like this, and you will be shocked at how well your eyeshadow, your concealer stays on all day long with a little bit of eyeshadow primer. It's quite hydrating. It's quite creamy. And so I was a little bit worried about that, but I just took a tiny bit of powder that matched this color and or translucent powder. And I used a little tiny brush like the one I just used a minute ago and just tapped it across. And this is gorgeous. It has really brightened up the look of my eyeshadows that I've used. Always, always as a mature woman, I like to use something that takes away that discoloration because then you're going to have the actual color of the eyeshadow instead of mixing with whatever discoloration you have on your own lids. So that's why I choose to use an eyeshadow primer. Longevity is a plus, yes, but also you want something that's going to make that eyeshadow pop and this one does. This is only number three of a total of three eyeshadow primers that I like. Anastasia Beverly Hills, Jason Wu, and this one. So definitely this one gets a thumbs up from me. Next, I'm super excited about the brow lamination from L'Oreal. And if you notice that my eyebrows are a little bit darker today, that is very true. I did not mean for that to happen, but I did get a little bit darker of a brow today. So we're going with it because it's really hard to take brows off after you have all your makeup on. Anyway, the brow lamination from L'Oreal, this holds your brows in place so well. Tiny little spoolie on it, so good. But if you need something that needs to hold brows up, like not on this side, but on this side right here, I have these little brows that just stick straight down and they're always falling, but I use this and these stay up all day and I am in love with it. I got a little bit goopy right there. Okay, no more goop. So really enjoy this. And it says that it's a 24 hour hold. I don't wear my makeup for 24 hours. If some of you do, you might really like this for 24 hours, but it stays on and my eyebrows are right where they're supposed to be the whole day. So that is another one that I really have enjoyed. I also did discover this right here from Morphe. This has probably been out forever. I don't know, but this is Morphe's version of the micro fine little brow pencil. Why I like this is because of the color and I will have to look up and see what the color is. It's this different color, it's called Cold Brew. I don't know why it's called that other than it's got a little bit of ash color in it. I also like how stiff it is. And the reason is, is because I have quite a few eyebrow hairs, but I don't have a good color to them. They're almost like blonde see-through, but this is really good. And it makes the strokes that you need when you're doing your eyebrows. You can get the little strokes going on there. I love the color of it though. The color of it is so good. No, this isn't the color that I have on today. <laughs> this was a, an ink eyebrow fiasco today, but you know, 
I'm doing it. So anyway, this one lasts all day because of how it is a little bit more stiff, not super creamy. You can get the eyebrow strokes. It's got a nice little spoolie on this end and a teeny tiny end on the other. Really, really like this. Really love the color for my naturally ashy blonde hair that I have when I'm not coloring my hair into this bright blonde, but this matches so well and it works so well on my eyebrows. So I'm really enjoying that one. Now, this one isn't new either. This is from Juvia's Place and this is their cream bronzer. But wow, ladies, this is so pretty. I have found a million bronzers, tested a million bronzers, and I want the perfect melding of not too warm, not too cool, because if it gets too warm, you look like you're an Oompa Loompa. It gets too cool, you look like you got mud on your face. This is it. This is so good for me. This is the perfect one between the two. And again, I am somebody that is super fair, but this one worked so good for me, and I am so pleased with this. This is a very creamy formula that blends out very, very easily. Obviously, you can tell that it's quite saturated, but it blends across your face and across your skin just like a dream. And the warmth in it is perfect. And then the coolness for somebody that normally finds everything way, way too orange is perfect as well. This one is a knock it out of the park too. And the great thing about Juvia's Place is they always give you a super gamut of colors because this is a black owned business. They go way into those super deep colors, but I, I find that they are really conscientious about going into those super light colors as well. As a matter of fact, I will have a video reviewing some of their complexion products fairly soon. And I was really impressed at the range of shades that they had as well. So look into some of those and you might find just your absolute perfect color just really have been appreciating and enjoying those. Lastly, Essence went and took off on some lippies and I'm so excited about these. All four of these right here are lip plumping ones and I will show you those in just a second, but they've all got different formulas in them and I think I may have missed one of the formulas, but I got most of them for you. And then the other one is just a lippy stick. And it's just a lipstick in this form that everybody seems to love right now, the slim lipstick bullet form. Um, it's not its not like the Tarte Maracuja that is that juicy formula. This is actually a lipstick. So it's called Slim Stick and the six hour long lasting lipstick. This one is in color 102 over the nude. So this is their nude version. What I like about these is they are quite saturated, but not so saturated that you're not gonna be able to wear them if you're fair, like I am. I really like how creamy these are. They do feel quite matte, not uncomfortable matte like so many of them are. This one is called Velvet Punch 105. This is more of their mauve pinky version, which I love. I thought this one was so pretty. So Velvet Punch on that one. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors on these. And of course, I picked out the pink ones. This one is Baby Got Blush 104. So this one is their pink, pink version. And I just love these, blue pink. Really, really pretty on those. Love the creaminess of these, but I also like that they're very wearable colors as well. I don't have this on right now, but I'll just kind of do a little bit right there. You can't see because my other color is pretty dark. So just really love these and really have been enjoying wearing them, trying different ones. Now for the ones that are the plumping ones, each of these had a different theme to them. So the, the whole line is called What the Fake. And each of them has something different in them. Like this one right, has, right here has an icy effect and it has the cooling effect on your lips and it has the little, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see this or not, but it has the little reflex in it. And so just the little, not really glitter, but kind of a little bit. And I'll just pop this on so you can see just a little bit in the middle. So it's gonna be able, by the way, nothing has smelled till right now. And I always know that you want to know the fragrance, but this smells a little bit minty, just so you know that. Now, I do know that this other one, which is the nude color, this is supposed to have cinnamon oil in it. I think they go by what the 
what the actual, you know, whether it's got cinnamon or chili pepper or whatever in it. So there is that one. I got a little bit into the other one. That one's just a nude color and it's a pretty nude as well. So if you've been looking for an inexpensive medium thickness, not a thick lip gloss at all, but a medium thickness and just seems to be there all day long, you might really love these. This next one is the one that has chili extract in it. And it's kind of like all the other ones that right now are doing with the lip oils. It's that clear and they've tinged it just a little bit with a kind of a pink in there. So it really doesn't show up a color, but it's just a clear. And then, like I said, it has a chili pepper, chili oil in it. And then the last one, this one has black pepper oil in it and it does come in a black tube. And I don't know what Fenty Beauty and these guys are thinking about that. I don't know why that's so popular right now, because to me, it seems like when it goes on your lips, it kind of has that gray tinge to it. You know, I haven't even checked to see if this changes colors. It might be the one that changes colors. If it is the one that changes colors, it's going to change colors on there really quickly. <laughs> Aren't I a good influencer? I don't even know whether or not it changes colors. But if it does, I'll make sure that it goes up on the screen so that you can see that. All right, I just love you guys because I can be myself and you know that I'm a screw up sometimes. Yep, it's changing to pink. It's changing with my pH, you guys. I don't know if you can see that or not. I will show you that in a picture on the screen right here. You guys, I love you so much. You know how crazy I am and how hard it is for me at times, but we do our best, right? So I hope that you did enjoy seeing all of these and I hope that you enjoyed seeing what's new at the drugstore. I have all kinds of fun doing these. Right now, I didn't get to try a lot on. I will do a review for you with that foundation, but it is gorgeous. Take my word for it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you're somebody that likes a tinted moisturizer, put your moisturizer and put a little bit of that in there. You're going to love it. The concealer is beautiful. The powder is beautiful on those. The brush is beautiful. Actually, everything that I had here today, I really did enjoy so, so very much. So wanted to make sure that I told you that. And I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Let me know down in the comments if you have found anything new at the drugstore that your girl needs to find out about because you know how much I love your influence. Give the video a thumbs up on your way out of here if you wouldn't mind. I hope that you are all doing well. Love you very much. Please come back and see me really soon and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, friends.